be showing you today how to write to a file. Uh, this can be useful later on if you're interested in keeping scores or something like that. So what you do is you start off with a variable to specify the path where you're going to save the file on the device. So we'll just call this file path equals system dot path for file and then the name of the file goes here and I believe it can be anything you want it to be so you can just call it like uh, test dot um, rtr or whatever that's just totally random okay and then next you're gonna specify what directory you're gonna save it in and that would be the documents directory you can save to the temp directory too but I'm just using this one as an example you can't save to the apps resource directory due to security reasons so these are the only two that you can save to on the device so and then next we create uh, we need something to put in the file now we can just do a simple string or we can do something else that's kinda cool which is the current uh, date and time. So we'll create a variable called timestamp, and we'll use the current o current operating system's uh, date function. And uh, you're gonna put a mo that's a, the uh, percent sign is modulus by the way, which takes the remainder of um, a division. Uh, but in this case, I believe it's just specifying a parameter or something like that. Okay, next is uh, specifying the file handler. So we have to do that. Also we're going to specify an error string for if there's an error encountered. Uh, and then we'll open file path that is right here. So we're going to use file path there and then next we're going to say what file operation we're going to do. So there's many different ones you can use like if you want to create a file or replace if you want to replace all the text you wouldn't use this but A stands for append which means you're going to add on to the file. Next, we're going to create a simple if statement. Uh, create a variable called contents for what's going to go into the file. And then finally, we're going to do the big part, um, which is writing to the file. So we're going to put in our timestamp variable here to, to put out the timestamp. And next, we're going to create a new line for if you want to keep writing to the file so it isn't all on one line. So that's a carriage return. And lastly, we're going to close the file since at this point in the code, you'd be done writing to it. Now let's go ahead and test it and see if it works. Okay, and you can see there it's not doing anything but I will show you where you can check to see where it actually did do something um, what you do to find this actually is you can go to your start menu and type the percent sign temp and then another percent and this is what you get and it looks all weird this is where all the temporary files are stored so you just click on app data and roaming ANSCA Corona Simulator, Sandbox, and then you find the latest folder, because some of these are random, some of them look familiar, like the names on them, but you find the one that was most recently created, and it happens to be this one right here, and then you saved with the documents directory, so that's that, and there's my test RTR file, let's just edit it with notepad, and there's our two times we inserted. So, uh, it's a little bit more advanced. If you think you can use it, um, go right ahead. It's actually really cool. So, that's it.